hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to this and stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you these are the required measurements slope depth equal to 5 inches plus seam allowance is 0 0.5 inch slope length equal to armhole length divided by 2 plus size seam allowance 1 inch plus ease 0 0.25 inch sleeve length plus seam allowance is 0 0.5 inch plus M allowance 1.5 inches round sleeve divided by 2 plus size seam allowance 1 inch for my free and jacket sleeve I'm going to have it on fold meaning you're going to fold fabric here your fabric will be folded here if you're doing this on your fabric I'm going to draw a line here as my starting point from this line I'm going to get my slope depth that is 5 inches you can use 6 inches also I'm working with size 10 or size 12 so I'm using this measurement if you are working for size 14 or 16 and above you can use 6 inches From the line, I'm going to measure my elbow length. That is 12 inches. Lastly, I'm going to get my sleeve length for the long sleeve. That is 22 inches. I'm going to connect my lines now. The next thing I'm going to do is to label my lines. This is the slope step line. This is my elbow length line. And this is my sleeve length line. On the slope depth line, I'm going to measure my round arm, which is 7.5 inches. On the elbow length line, I'm going to measure my round elbow which is 6.5 inches and on the sleeve length line I'm going to measure my round wrist which is 5.5 inches I'm going to get the midpoint of what I marked here 7.5 the midpoint is about 3.75 Then I'm going to get 3.5 here. I'll be getting midpoints because this is a jacket sleeve. The crown is going to be long. It's going to be longer than the lower part of the sleeve when I'm drawing my sleeve. Unlike the basic sleeve where I have the crown and the lower parts the same. The cup of the crown for a jacket sleeve is going to be longer. To have that fitted official look to make the shoulder stand straight I'm going to be using 3.5 for the upper part and I'll use the remaining 1.5 to draw the second part of the sleeve
this is 3.5 I'm going to draw dotted lines while the midpoint of my 7.5 which is 3.75 which I marked earlier I'm going to draw a dotted line upwards what I need is where this dotted line meets this dotted line now I'm going to draw my curve I'll start with the crown I'll start from the line I'll make sure my curve relax well into the line I want that part flat I don't want it pointed so that when I open my sleeve it's going to be flat at the center at the top from this midpoint I'll draw it into the line then turn the French curve and draw the remaining parts of the slope line I'll make sure this line flows well into the other line now I'm going to confirm my slope depth I need 10 inches I have almost 10 I have 9.75 I'm going to add the remaining I'm going to mark 10 let me confirm it again this is 10 inches now now I'm going to collect my new points into my elbow line and into the sleeveless line this is going to be my straight grain and I'm going to cut two pieces of this I'm ready to cut it out This is my free and jacket sleeve. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please kindly like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and click the notification bell. Thank you.